the sun had just risen and a new day had begun. Today was the last day we would all spend at the nest, as we were all finally old enough to start our own adventures. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna kill each other. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Please make. <gasps> He's gonna die. <gasps> There's two! No! <laughs> no way. I think after that, my sibling and I had a mutual agreement to never play like that again. So. We just decided to sit and wait for our parent to get back. Oh, there he is. What the hell has he got? Hold up. You may be thinking, that Pteranodon looks familiar. Well, that's because he does. You see, in the last video we did, called The Greatest Hatchling Thief, there were some parts of the story that I cut out. And well, this was one of them. After taking a few bites from this Utah, I actually saved the rest and brought it back to my nest to feed my hatchlings. Come back, come back. Wait, I'm just gonna drop it here. There we go. Eat up, boys. <laughs> my dream was to raise hatchling thieves of my own, so when I'm gone, they could keep my legacy going. And well, that's where this guy comes in. The son of the greatest hatchling thief. He had big boots to fill, but oh my, would he fill them. The time to leave had arrived. It was a sad, but an exciting moment as we all left the nest for the first time. You see, I never really saw him again after this day, but I'm sure he's somewhere out there, proud of me, or proud of who I will become. But I had no idea at the time what my life was going to bring me. But before we get into that, we must begin like every good story must, right at the beginning of our Tyranodon's journey. The world outside your nest is dangerous and full of hungry predators. Keeping to the skies and only landing when truly necessary is your best bet. Our journey started off in center, but if I wanted to fill my father's boots, I would have to journey onwards. Nests are not easy to find, so I decided I would start off in the obvious spots. The nesting grounds. It is a full server right now, so we'll go check out the nesting grounds, see if anyone's there. There isn't normally, but I mean, might as well try it out. Those are the obvious spots. And uh, if there's no one there, then I suppose we'll just have to look <laughs> a little harder. I wasn't feeling hopeful for the nesting ground, as normally creatures don't like to nest there, as it's too easy to find. But to my surprise, some people were feeling rather brave. Oh, there's a packy. And I think a hipsy? Something. I think it's a hipsy, yeah. Just eating from the mango tree. I don't think there's a nest though. It doesn't look like they're nesting. I mean, I only see one hipsy and one packy to be honest. I had spotted a hipsy and a packy, but from this distance, I couldn't really see what was going on. So I decided to get some stam and get a little closer. And the fly lurks. I don't want them to see me, but I do want to see what is going on. There's definitely a hipsy and a packy. Oh. Wait. Why is this? Wait, are they nesting? They have to be nesting, otherwise there wouldn't be sticks. Oh my god, there's actually two hatchlings. If I can sneak away. <laughs> they're like right... Yeah, they're right by the corner. <gasps> Hopefully I didn't hear that. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay, come on, Islander. Come on. My... Yes! I actually got it! Oh my god, first try as well. Did they even notice? Well, that was it. The beginning of a new era. A new hatchling thief had arrived. And believe me when I tell you, nobody's nest was safe anymore. Okay, I'm done terrorizing them. <laughs> We move on to the next. And that we did. I had no real need to keep up my diet, so fish and hatchlings was the only diet I wanted. And let's be real, that's what truly makes the Pteranodon fun. Catching fish is actually still fun. It's like one of those mini games in the game that never really gets old. After catching a fish and eating it, I decided to check out this waterfall. As to be honest, I didn't really know where I was, as looking for nests is sometimes you have to travel to the most unlikely places. You know, I won't lie, I have no idea where I am right now. The arch kind of looks familiar, but... Ooh. What is that? There's a Dinosuchus. And a nest! Oh! It's a baby! I think... Was that a leaf? <laughs> was that just... 
I'm pretty sure that was a baby. Hold on. No, it's definitely a baby. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Okay, let's pretend to leave. Let's pretend to leave. Otherwise, it's too obvious. Oh my god, that was definitely a baby though. While exploring the area, I'd found a Dinosuchus nest nesting that appeared to have a hatchling already. It seemed small enough for me to grab, however, it was being guarded by its parents. I would need to be patient, as one wrong move and the where dino would be huh? alerted, sending the hatchling back into the water, where it would then become impossible to grab. If only that Dinosuchus didn't go the wrong way, he could have had a Tenanto. <gasps> oh my god, there's another one! Holy sh- I didn't know there was another one! Oh, <gasps> wait, I think it gets out. What is going on? Is the water too shallow there? <laughs> With the body there and the parent keeping an eye out for predators, this would become quite challenging. Waiting for the right moment was crucial, but on top of that, I had to get it right the first time. One miss and the baby would go darting into the water. And that oh. opportunity oh, he's distracted, he's distracted. was now. Where is it? 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 There it is. Did I get it? Oh my god, I got it. I actually got it. I don't think he even noticed. <laughs> The hunt was a success. The other Pteranodon unknowingly had distracted the Dinosuchus long enough for me to fly in and snatch its baby. <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't even know you could pick up Dinosuchus, to be honest. Happy with how the hunt went, I ate up the Dinosuchus, drank some water, and decided to head off in search of a new nest. Meow. <laughs> now, to spend the next few hours looking for another nest. <laughs> is, that, is that a pig? What a pig, what a pig. On my search for nests, I decided I would stop by the beach to see what the other pteranodons were up to, as this rock is a popular nesting ground. However, it seemed these pteranodons wanted nothing to do with me. Or even worse, they wanted me dead. Hello? Are they recording me or are they just recording? Oh, oh, he tried to bite me. What the hell? What did I do? <gasps> no ways. What the? What did I do? <laughs> These Pteranodons didn't do well with strangers. I'm not sure why they wanted me dead so bad, but they did. And so this quickly turned into a dogfight. One I definitely could not win. There's no ways I'm winning this. <laughs> there are so many of them and my stam is gonna run low soon. I should probably start looking for a way out. Maybe I will head... Yeah, I'll just head to the forest, I suppose. With my stamp starting to get low, I decided it was a good time to back off and make a break for the forest. Hopefully in there, I could lose them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are they still on me? Ooh. I just gotta lose them in here. Oh my god, my stamp is so low. I think I lost them. I think. Are they still on me? There's no ways. Whoa. Okay, I think I'm fine. Let's find a bush and hide in there. I'm just gonna land back here. Oh. Okay. That was close. On my way back from the beach, I stumbled across a fight between a lone Tenanto and two Utahs. The fight seemed to have been going on for quite a while, as not long after I got there, the Tenanto had dropped dead and the Utahs were victorious. I was curious if the Utahs would let me grab a bite, but then something strange happened. Oh. Where's you off to? Well, you have to stay by the body. That's the rules. Where'd he go? Where is he? Is he here footsteps? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh shit, there's a nest. By following the Utah back, he had led me right to their nest. At first glance, I didn't see any hatchlings due to it being so dark. But not long after it had left, I decided I would take a closer look. I mean, I might as well go take a closer look. But I don't think there's anything. Wait, what's that? Is that? Oh, it is! I thought it was like a little rock, but I was like, I'll buy it anyway. Oh my god, there's actually a Utah there. Oh, it's tiny. It must have literally just hatched. Maybe that's why he went back. He went to go say hi. Oh my god. <laughs> By chance, I had seen the little Utah just in time. Rewatching the footage, I'm pretty sure what I saw was a chunk of meat. However, the baby hatchling must have been sitting right by it. Either way, though, I got what I came for. And that's all that mattered. Doom, doom, doom. Another one bites the dust. 
With nighttime settling in, it was time to get dark and I couldn't see too much, but I heard the sounds of Santananto, so I decided to go investigate a little bit. There's Santananto over here. This is like a little cave, like, what is this? Can I just jump down? Ooh, open up! Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> Hello? Oh? Oh? <gasps> I heard a baby! Yeah, that's definitely- I mean, it could be a dreamy, to be fair. While crouching around, trying to get a better look, I heard the cries of a baby Tenanto. However, the nest was in a cave. Flying in and out would be a challenge without getting caught. But, one I'm willing to take. Let's try this out. Whoa. Oh, there it is! I got it! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a cave! There's a cave! Let me fit! Let me fit! Oh my god! I'm dead. I'm so dead. Can it not fit? Oh, oh, I can't fit. I had messed up the landing, making me crash into the ground. The baby Tenanto was dead. However, I had gotten myself in quite the pickle. Oh my god, I got so lucky with this little cave thing, whatever that one is. I just need to wait for it to... If it turns around, I maybe have a chance. <gasps> no, 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 no. <gasps> Oh, 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 oh my god, that was terrifying. I am the luckiest person on this planet right now. Oh my god. Oh, I want to quickly smell. I'm pretty sure I killed it. Yep, I did. Oh my god, there's no ways they're going to let me eat it though. Ugh, whatever. We'll just leave. That was too terrifying for my little heart. I had left the cave to go search for somewhere to lay for the night. But on my way back, Hipster. I saw a little hipsy running in the grass. Against all odds, I decided I would try catching it. Where's it going? I hear it going this way. Oh. It's in here somewhere. Oh. It was very dark, so it was hard to see it moving around. However, I could hear a bunch of footsteps walking around this area, so I decided to jump into the bush and wait for it. We got it. We got it. My plan had worked, and the hipsy had come straight to me. However, I was still very confused on why they were just in this area and refused to leave. Why are they here? Where do you go? He's somewhere here. Why don't they just leave? What are they doing here? I don't understand. <laughs> little did I know that the answer I needed was staring right at me. It was just a little bit too dark to see it. <laughs> you little shit. I'm just trying to eat your friend. Wait, is that a nest? Oh my god, there's a nest! This whole time I had no idea I was eating right outside their nest, which now makes sense as to why the hipsy was acting so territorial. What are the chances? And of course, as any parent would, the hipsy decided to attack, attempting to protect its nest. So, I decided to attack back. What is this? Is it actually chasing me? I actually Come decided on. to skip most of the fight, as on, it kind of went on for a, a little bit longer than I'd like to admit. Got it. Okay, we got it. Next I know, it leads me to this, like, random place. I fall into the bush, <laughs> and lo and behold, they come back, and there's a nest right next to me. Well, that's going to be all for this story. I really hope you guys did enjoy this journey. If you did, hitting the like button and subscribing really does help boost my videos on the algorithm. So, I would truly appreciate that. But, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.